Let's cross over to Edinburgh and our lovely reporter George Ward is at Camera Obscura on the Royal Mile. Are you taking part in Toddler Fest, George? If I had a cushion, oh. I'd put it over my head right now. Oh my goodness, lock up your daughters this weekend when George is out with those moves. That's the George and his swim gear. We're oh taking no. a quick break now, but when we come back, you could, could your dog be the face of Scotland for a global tourism campaign? Right, our reporter, George Ward, he's a wee bit of a daredevil. He might not look it, but honest, he is. So when he got the opportunity to start his weekend at a trampoline class, he jumped to the chance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> could you show me a basic bounce? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad he was not wearing shorts. Let's cross over live to the Glasgow's Royal Concert Hall, where our reporter George Ward is waiting the arrival of none other than Lee Walsh and a certain Ooh. Irish boy band. George? So staying in Edinburgh and from a musical starring the UK's version of Elvis Presley to a heart playing poet, George, it's like a preview night for Scotland's International Poetry Day. You certainly have a very job, George. Right, from Scottish Ballet to the Moscow State Circus, let's cross over live to our reporter George Ward at Renfrew's into Brayhead. You're not going to run away and join the circus, are you, George? And tonight, we'll give you an exclusive preview. And that's exactly what we've got for you this evening. Our reporter George Ward is live at a dress rehearsal of new play Gold Rush. What's it all about, George? Next on Live at Five, our reporter George Ward is live at Edinburgh at a community music and arts event which brings people to work together and even learn new beats. George is live for us now. Now, George, you do know this jamming session has nothing to do with the stuff that you like in your toast. She's look great. Yeah, they're going to the union to celebrate, let's be honest. <laughs> Now, some of Scotland's budding young artists will now have their work displayed in one of the country's most impressive surroundings. They all entered the Edinburgh Festival Fringe poster competition and now their work can be seen adorning no less a space than the city's dynamic earth. Oh, an explosive. Tune in tomorrow night. It will always be at the best events across Scotland. And tonight, George is live at the Edinburgh Napier Degree Show. And George, there's some very talented young people, isn't there? Ocean going liners to the tiniest of tugboats, the River Clyde has seen the launch of countless floating vessels. Even now, with the industry fading away, it seems the skills are still out there. Within the next half an hour, another boat's about to be launched, and George Ward is reporting live. What's the story, George? Well, some live musical theatre on the show. Who would ever think have thought? George is trying to get yourself a job? I think he is as well. <laughs> They're shopping at the same place, got the same <laughs> shirts on there, but anyway. I've seen him following you a few times. Now, <laughs> Back over to Edinburgh and see how George is getting on at the Pulitzer Prize for Arts Award Ceremony. How are you, George? Thank us. The weather is so good, but right now the good folk of Leith are getting ready for one of Scotland's biggest and oldest festivals, it, a right old party. It better yeah. be, because it looks great outside. Stuart, top effort. For me, though, it's George out. Oh. Probably the most frustrating piece of television you'll watch this year. Oh, what was that reverse shot all about? I don't know, I need a word Essentially with him. getting the ball in the hole there. That's I'm glad he explained the concept of golf. Now, <laughs> now, this weather is very hot, it's all very well, unless you're a theatre or a cinema lover. Well, there's some brilliant open air theatre coming up over the summer, and George Wars seems to have the answers for all the moviegoers. Tell us more, George. Watching live at five from the Royal Highland Show on what has been a remarkable day for everyone across Scotland and the rest of the United Kingdom. And whilst we'll be discussing that, it's business here as usual. It certainly is. Uh, we're going to be here live for the next hour, right here in Ingolston. And with so much going on, we're really going to struggle to fit it all in. But, but we'll we try. will. <laughs> we have ha cameras across the whole site bringing you a flavour of what's going on as 200,000 people are expected to visit by Sunday. That's right. We have the history of the Royal Highland Show cookery and you'll be pleased plenty of highland coups plenty of coups right then it is the moment we've all been waiting for here on live at five a reporter george ward will attempt a ski jump we're encouraging you all to try some winter sports in scotland how prepared and are you george are you nervous <laughs> join me later on where we'll be meeting some of the cast Nice to see he's lost the helmet. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> the extent of my ballet moves is about the same as George there. Just, <laughs> that's it. There's definitely some interesting objects. If you do look a bit closer on this X-ray, um, I'll be uh, joined by Elise a bit later on to show you a bit more about what's going on this week. Uh, lots on offer, and I think uh, the parents are having uh, as much fun as the toddlers are. It's uh, back to you for just now, though. <laughs> I don't know what to that was ask. A bit of a, an appropriate close-up there. <laughs> It's time to find out who has more Instagram followers than David. It's only a wee hairy dog with 1.6 million. <laughs> He's in Edinburgh with his owner tonight. So is our reporter, George Ward. 
And it's, it's bad to you in the studio. I'll bring that back with me as well. <laughs> Thank you, George. And oh my goodness, would you travel halfway around the world <laughs> to meet an ugly dog? Celtic <laughs> <laughs> Connections in Glasgow is the largest annual winter music festival of its kind and the UK's premier celebration of Celtic music. 2,100 artists, 300 events, 20 venues, all making one brilliant festival. But where do you begin? Have you been to Europe's largest indoor carnival in Glasgow? Well, this weekend is your last chance. And to tempt you to go long before it's too late, our reporter George Ward is there now. First tonight, we've been invited to the LGBT History Month launch party in Edinburgh tonight. And our reporter George Ward is live in the capital right now, learning more about Scotland's LGBT community past and present. George. Next tonight, the Glenn Miller story is at the Edinburgh Playhouse until Sunday, and it tells the extraordinary tale of the world's most famous big band leader. The music legend is performed by none other than Tommy Steele, who was Britain's first rock and roll star, and George went to meet him. Ultimate frisbee. Funny you should say that. I have actually taken part, and oh, I can't yeah. confirm. Aha, uh -huh, it's great exercise. I didn't catch the frisbee. It's good <laughs> exercise, though, for anyone of any age, which is also good for our reporter, George Ward. He's live at a game in Edinburgh right now, George. But just before the break, we saw George Ward prepare to play Ultimate Frisbee in Edinburgh. And if he can do that, that is good. Uh, apparently anyone, <laughs> any age can play, so that should involve our very own George. Now, one of Edinburgh's iconic gardens has been invaded by nocturnal stick figures as part of an art installation. Hmm. Hmm. It's called Keyframes, and after delighting thousands of people across the world from Singapore to Spain, it's now in Scotland. Yeah. George Ward is at St Andrew's Square for us now. Do you need your sunglasses, George? No. Does this music sound familiar? Oh, I remember hearing this and coming and running through the sports TV. I was always scared because I knew there was going to be a murder. <laughs> that is, of course, the iconic Taggart theme tune, No Mean City, by Scottish yes, Queen of Blues, Maggie Bell, who is also the coordinator of the Fife Jazz Festival, which kicks off tonight. And our reporter, George Ward, is live at Carnegie Hall in Dunfermline. Now, let's cross over live to Dunfermline, where our reporter, George Ward, is at the launch of the Fife Jazz Festival. Are you jazz handing it up tonight, George? Lovely now. Next on Live at Five, we're going to the east from Burt Island and Five to Ocean Terminal in Edinburgh. We're at the launch of the Scottish Design Exchange. Never normally buys a ticket. <laughs> it's 18 days. Oh, it's a jam-packed programme with more yes. comedians and performers than ever before. Now, roving reporter George Ward is at the opening night in Glasgow's Merchant City now. Please tell me you're oh, not telling jokes, George. So. We sent roving reporter George Ward to learn more about the event where, they, where he met the Olympic gold medalist and some aspiring local talent hoping to make a splash in the competition. 